I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not even really about the money for me. Mm -hmm. It's about all the friendships that I made. Mm -hmm. And I know that they're real because I won unanimously. I'm like, oh my God, like that's just like another win on top of a win. I'm just so grateful for everybody that I met. And then the friendships and then with Ricky, like he's he's a class act. He really is. So the big the big shock of the night obviously was everyone thought Ricky was gonna pick Lolo. That I did too. That gave Ricky the best chance of, of winning. I mean, I, ne I didn't necessarily think that he was going to win if he picked me. Um, no. Well, no, let me go turn around. I didn't think I was going to win if he picked me. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, I said that to everyone. Like, everybody has a sure chance mm -hmm. that, you know, if you take me, then you're going to win. Mm -hmm. I had absolutely no idea. Well, he, he did that because he, I asked him, I was like, we all asked him, like, Ricky, what the hell were you thinking? Yeah. But he made a promise to you, he and did. he stuck by it. And he honored it. And I'm so grateful for him, grateful for him. I'll forever be grateful for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a gift, you mm -hmm. know, to give me and my kid. And so um, he's an amazing person because a lot of people lie yep. mm -hmm. on Big Brother. <laughs> they? Yes, they do. I mean, I've said it a few myself. But <laughs> um, for him to stick to his word is like, oh, come on now. You didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, it was amazing. Um, you are a self-proclaimed super fan of the show. Yeah. Uh, I, it definitely it looks like it because you you played the game right. Um, like, what was your goal I when you? I don't even know how I played this game. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I honest to God, I went into the house thinking that I was going to be my best self, right? I was I was going to try not to argue with anybody, try not to um, be in the midst of like drama, and uh, did I do that? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> So, um, but I did promise myself that I would, you know, be as honest as I could, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that paid off in the end. Uh, Tamara, you've been in the house 30 days not knowing all the memes created around you oh, God. in the last 30 days. Oh, and you're, yeah, I mean, the... Are they a lot? Oh, my God. <laughs> but, no, but they're not, but they're all funny. They're all, they're all facial expressions. They're all your reactions. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> you've, gone, you've gone basically viral for the past 30 days. Are you oh, serious? It'll be fun to catch up. Yeah. Well, I'm asking you a question. Who won the Super Bowl? You don't even know that? I don't know anything. Patriots won. Patriots. Uh, you don't even know who they beat, do they? Uh, the Rams, yeah? Oh, you don't know a little bit. Yeah, we that. had cupcakes that day. Yeah, yeah, so I'm grateful for the cupcakes. <laughs> That's so, all I know. So what's the first thing you're going to do tomorrow now that you're out back in the real world? What's well, I actually have a concert tomorrow. Yeah, in New Orleans with Robin Thicke. I'm really excited about it. Um, and then I'm going to take my kid to the African American Museum in D.C. We said we always wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're going to do for this weekend. All right, so a couple of things. You said you're going to buy your son a house. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. Um, our divorce is really hard um, and it was shocking to me. And, um, you know, me and my son moved in an apartment and, you know, every day he asked about his old house. And about a month and a half before I came to the show, I told him I was going to work really hard to make sure he has a new house. And God provided. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Uh, you and him on stage, just watching you guys embrace was like, because as a father, like as a parent, I know what that means. Yeah. Being, have you ever been away from that long? Like, what I was have that? never been yeah. away from my kid. 30 days, are you kidding me? Like I'm his sole provider, I'm like his person mm -hmm. and he's mine. Mm -hmm. And so I just had to remind myself that this is why you're here. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to keep the focus on him and mm -hmm. I'm just really excited about the results. Amazing. It's okay. all worth it. Before I let you go, um, Dina Lohan's boyfriend has been located. So I hear. So he's real. So, so he's, he's not real. a catfish. No, I'm, I'm grateful for that because I didn't <laughs> want him to be. You know, I really want her to be super happy. She's mm -hmm. a great, great lady. Yeah. I call her Mama Dina. Mm -hmm. And um, I, she deserves all the happiness in the world. But I want to meet him first and check him out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how should you do the first date? What do you think? What's how, What would make Dina happy, do you think, if you were to give well, it this? You know, she's a simple lady, you know, um, and, cla and a class act and very classic. So he could take her to dinner, dancing, a little wine, and... That'll be a great start for them. Last thing, you and Candy repaired yeah. 20 years of just, I don't even want to say it was bad blood, but just 20 years of like not understanding each no, other. No, not understanding each other at all. And now we're in a place where we're like really, really good friends and the height of understanding, you know? Um, we both grown up a lot and we both really wanted to make our relationship work and that's what we did.